Hey, what's up everyone? It is Saeed's here. Welcome to my self-care day. Today I will be doing a facial mask and also doing a deep conditioning session with my hair. So a face and a hair mask today. So I have my steamer going just to open up my pores, get my face ready to receive all of the nutrients from my face mask. So today I will be doing a detox purifying mask. So this one has Dead Sea Mud in there. And this is the Lily Sado brand. I love this brand. It's organic. It's clean. It's everything. It's very gentle on my skin. So this is how the mask looks. It's a nice gray texture in there. It has a lot of great ingredients, but the key ingredient is the Dead Sea Mud in there. It has aloe juice and so many other yummy ingredients in there. So this mask is very clean. It's very gentle on my skin. I love to do this mask at least once a week just to detox my skin, keep my skin nice and tight and clear and clean. So I'm starting on freshly clean skin that can be ready to receive. So the steam is just opening up my pores so that it can receive everything from this mask. But in today's video of masks and mathematics, I just want to talk about like self-care and how you can actually use it to create things in your life. Create miracles and manifest what you want to see happen in your life through self-care when you are practicing self-care you're actually raising your vibration you know a lot of times we've been taught to do affirmations like I love myself I'm worthy but self-care is actually the practice of the affirmation I love myself I'm worthy I'm worth it belief in yourself you know having a high self-worth and understanding that you are in fact worthy of all the things you want to create so it's a good way to create space for what you're trying to manifest and if you're unfamiliar with manifesting, you know, we do create our reality. And the easier it is for you to manifest your goals de determines on how well you love yourself, how well you believe in yourself. That's why some things, that's why some people seem to like have a magic touch about them. If you know that some people, it seems like they get everything they want, like... They're always announcing some type of accomplishment and it's like the things they speak about come about so effortlessly is because of the level of vibration that they're on. Okay, so it's time to decondition my hair, just apply my mask. I usually get my mask sit for about 20 minutes. This is so good. Look at my hair, guys. Oh my goodness. Finally wash my hair and this is how it is looking. Wow, it looks so vibrant. I actually shampooed twice. I think it looks like this because I did a clay mask like two weeks ago. If you watched that video, that was about two weeks ago. So now I'm getting ready to decondition my hair. So today I'll be using the 4C only. This is the Too Thick. This is the, oh my goodness, why is it in focus? But I'm using the 4C only. This is a for a hair brand for 4C Natural Hair. It came out last winter, last year in December. So, oh my goodness. I love this deep conditioner. It works so well for my hair. It's super thick. It's protein free. It's really, really good. I really recommend this deep conditioner. So, let's get back to our self-worth and raising our vibration as women through taking care of yourself you know one of the best things you could do especially as a woman 
is pamper yourself and take care of yourself you know if you know this I find that well for me I find that you know the women with the highest vibration and success they're really big on self-care you know when you go to like the more prosperous areas you'll see like a lot of women into self-care and pampering themselves like anything that brings a feeling of relaxation is usually considered self-care anything that pampers you make you feel relaxed it can be you know doing your hair like me putting on a facial mask taking a bath it can be um doing your nails making sure you have great hygiene all of that is considered self-care and when you care for yourself it's like a affirmation that you truly love yourself and you are demonstrating to the universe that you matter like you're saying I matter you're not just repeating the affirmation and not really feeling it because you know affirmations are good but not a lot of people can actually feel their affirmation so the best affirmations is actually your actions how do you treat yourself are you taking the time to take care of yourself are you mindful of what you feed yourself and I'm not just talking about food I'm talking about the type of company you keep the places you go the things you do to yourself your self-talk you know that's a big one too like how do you talk to yourself in private are you continually bashing yourself and putting yourself down like oh you're so stupid or why did you say that oh my goodness all of that falls under the category of self-care so when you are aligned when you're truly in alignment and you're aligned with your higher self and your true inner being you most likely love yourself you're a person that really nurture yourself because you know that you matter so the importance of taking care of yourself to create space for what you want is that it will make things a whole lot easier like it's so much easier to manifest things when you have a higher vibration that's what it comes down to like the higher your vibration the easier it seems that things that you truly want to create in your life come to you and, and that's what it ultimately boils down to self-love that's the highest state of vibration you can have is loving yourself it is because once you truly understand who you are you know we're not just physical beings we are spirit in physical form once you truly understand who you are and that we are the creator the captain whatever you may call it of our destiny then you can amplify your power to attract anything or attract your dreams in your life and it's not just about getting things like oh I'm just doing this to get this and that you know it also makes life a whole lot better because you won't feel so depressed all the time. Yes, you, you're going to have bad days. Self-love and self-care doesn't exempt you from bad days and, you know, bad times. But the amount of bad days you have won't be as much. And in fact, you won't really have bad days. Like, to be honest, I don't have bad days. I have bad moments in my day. But because I carry... A higher vibration and I'm very mindful of my vibration you know I can shift my energy and make sure that I don't go into the spiral all the way down the vibrational scale you know if you're unfamiliar with the vibrational scale there's different levels to it so when I have bad moments of my day I'm mostly I'm probably only like halfway down and then I have to work my way up again but I have bad moments in my day not bad day I don't I can't remember the time 
where I felt bad all day. I mean, it was way back in the day when my dog died. Like, I think it, that was like four years, three, four years ago when he died. I mean, I was sad for like the whole day. So what you choose to do for your self-care, um, it just has to do with you. What matters to you? Because not everyone is into like hair. I'm not saying force yourself to be in, become a natural hair enthusiast or a nail enthusiast some people find going to the salons boring and draining and you know so your definition of self-care will look different just find something that you truly love to do like i said it can be taking a bath it can be painting some people love painting it can be actually engaging taking the time to create time for your hobbies a lot of people they are on the go 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 just work, 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 or work and study and being productive that they don't make time for the things they truly, truly love. So practice self-care in those ways and make sure that your self-care evolves beyond just things you do to yourself. But it should also be the conversations you have with yourself as well, you know. In the mornings, I love to talk to myself and tell myself how proud I am. You know, I don't have people in my life that saying those things to me on a continuous basis. Probably only my boyfriend, but, you know, I don't really have parents and family that tells me how much of a great job I'm doing. You know, I, that's not something I hear, so I make sure that I do it for me. So... Pay attention to how you're talking to yourself. Be kind to yourself. Learn to tell yourself that you are important. You know, and big yourself up. Don't be afraid to say you're the ish. Like, you should get to that point of self-love that say you're the ish. Not I'm the ish, I'm better than everybody, but you know, I'm the ish and because I understand myself there's a difference it shouldn't be I'm the ish and everybody else is <laughs> not the ish because everyone is the ish everyone is the ish but only some people realize it only some people truly truly come to realize it like I believe I'm the ish but I know everyone is the ish as well but the only difference between me and someone who doesn't really believe that is them not realizing it and them being unaware that they are, you know, great and they're the ish. <laughs> so you'll, you'll get to that point. I know it doesn't start off right away when it comes to confidence, but the more you practice, the better you'll get. Be kind to yourself. So when you practice self-love more and more and the higher your vibration comes, this isn't something that happened overnight, you know. For me, my journey took years to actually see, view myself the way I view myself, to love myself unconditionally and believe in myself and want to go all out for myself. But once you begin to raise your vibration through self-care and you embody that spirit of true self-love like once that happens you will find that so many miracles take place in your life you know everything will change the quality of people you meet will change you know you'll have better quality friends if you're into like the social life you'll have better quality friends if you're dating you will date better quality People because you'll no longer be on that vibration of I'm a nobody I'm not worth it you know the vibration of I'm a nobody I'm not worth it just attract people that confirm that to you so if you don't truly love yourself your environment will let you know because the things you will attract will be so much different from what you attract when you learn to love yourself and your vibration is a bit higher 
So the more you become aware of your inner being or your spiritual being, the higher your vibration will be and you will be more in alignment to have that space to bring about the miracles that you desire or to just see miracles in general, you know? So that's the benefit of using self-care to create the space of, you know, seeing your intentions come to fruition. That's what it ultimately boils down to. It's not just about having better skin and hair and nails, but you feel so good when you have these things. And of course, having better quality hair, skin, and all of the outer beauty things, of course, it raises your level of confidence because the more you practice taking care of your hair, the, be the more beautiful your hair becomes, the more beautiful your skin becomes, your skin glows. And of course, you feel so much better about yourself. But it also goes within as well. Self-care can be a form of inducing self-love in yourself. And when you induce that self-love in yourself, that's the space you want to be in when it comes to your intentions and creating a different result, whether it be your career or any area, dating life, career, finances, um, your health. The more in love with yourself, the lower your stress levels, the lower your stress levels, the more health you have in your body and the more health you attract. So practice self-care, guys. I can't stress it enough. I love taking care of me. Like, I love myself so much. I believe I am worth it. I believe I am beautiful. I believe I am strong. I believe I am successful. I believe I can do all the things that I truly desire. I believe in myself. I am worthy. I am beautiful. And I love me. I'm the best person in the world. I'm the best person in my world. Yeah, you'll come to it. And, you know, I can say these things now. Years ago, I couldn't say these things because I grew up just being shut down where it was to the point where I was like you know my family would tell me be quiet sit in the corner don't talk um you're not worthy uh, I want to send you back here I want to get rid of you you know what that did to me as a young girl and all of those things just made me feel unworthy it made me grew up believing I'm unworthy and I did a lot of things in my early 20s that demonstrated my unworthiness i i couldn't believe the things i did in my early 20s oh my goodness things i would never do right now like i used to clean people's houses for 30 dollars like what is that girl you go to these people's house clean their house for 30 i can't imagine cleaning nobody's house for 30 dollars today not anything under 100 dollars at least like girl what are and it's because of the low self-worth and the lack of self-love that I felt for myself. And it just demonstrated in the choices I made. So raise your vibration. Become the frequency of self-love. Practice your self-care. Develop a self-care routine. Um, be consistent. And in no time, all of that practice of taking care of yourself will definitely translate into a higher elevated strong woman that you truly are within and you will see that all along you are the ish <laughs> so that's today's video on mass and metaphysics did my hair i need to go decondition let my face sit it's actually time to rinse this off look at how my face look guys <laughs> ah! I need to rinse off my face. Okay, see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.